He was the child of boom and bust, of oil and boxcars and red dirt and dust. All rough and tumble, he grew up wild till he became the nation's child. A kid on his own with his words and wit, saw the good and the bad till a torch was lit that burned away the lies and greed and shone its light on the human need for justice, kindness, dignity, for home and health, for equality, honest work for honest pay, safety and love at end of day. He loved this world with all its wonder, lived through war with its blood and thunder, soaked up the stories that he heard told by his comrades there, the scared, the bold. He walked the roads and the migrant camps, lived with the settled and the railroad tramps, heard their cry of want and pain, driven by nature and greed to the dust and rain. Oklahoma to Texas, California's coast, New York City with its bluster and boast. And he stored it, and he stirred it in his mind and heart, and he poured it all out in his music and art. He reached out to folks on the radio, on stages, or in kitchens, so they all would know that each one of us on God's green earth has value, meaning, and lasting worth. The right to speak, to take a stand, to feel the touch of a lover's hand, to raise your voice in joyful song or in protest of grievous wrong. The right to decide, make up your mind, to seek the truth, to search and find a way of your own to have and give, to laugh and love and struggle and live. With pen and pencil, song and story, he showed us all we're bound for glory. He walked the roads of this big nation and his shadow touches the third generation. He was the child of boom and bust. And he never lost his love and trust. He lived his truth unreconciled. And he became a nation's child.